Hello everyone, welcome to English Kyan. This is Shivashish Tash. Today I have come up with the video Childhood by Marcus Nutton and it's prescribed for the students of class 11. So before we start, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and please hit the like button for more such videos. So in this poem, the poet Marcus Nutton describes the most beautiful phase of our life that is childhood. Life of a human being can be uh, divided into four phases that is childhood, youth, uh, middle age and the old age. Interestingly, these four stages can also be compared to the four seasons of a year that is spring, summer, autumn and winter. As the spring is the most uh, beautiful season of a year, similarly childhood is also the most beautiful phase of a human being's life. Because in childhood we are free from care, we are, uh, uh, we are devoid of any tensions, we are devoid of any worries, we are free to roam about, we don't have any anxieties, we don't have any worries. So this is considered as the most beautiful phase of our life. But as we grow older, as we move ahead in life, somewhere we lose that innocence, we lose that childhood and we keep on lamenting, we keep on thinking about where we have lost our childhood and we, keep, we become nostalgic about those bygone days and we feel that and we wish if we could uh, bring those memories back, we could bring our childhood back. So in this poem also, the poet Marcus Nutton, he asks himself, he puts up a question that where he has lost his childhood and when he has lost his childhood. So without wasting any time, let's start. So this poem is divided into four stanzas. So let's begin with the first stanza. Childhood by Marcus Nutton. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be 11? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Was that the day? So here we see that the first line of the poem itself begins with a question. The poet Marcus Nutton he puts up a question to himself that when did my childhood go? He keeps thinking when he has lost his childhood. Means he wants to he, he, he wants to bring back the day or he wants to bring back the memory when he has lost his childhood. Means he does not know when his childhood innocence has gone away from him. He does not know when was the time when he had lost his childhood, when was the time he grew older. So he puts up a question, he starts the poem with a question that when he has lost his childhood. And he puts up uh, various uh, probabilities, he puts up various uh, uh, situations that he thinks that he might have lost his childhood at those stages. So in the first time he says that, when did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be 11? He puts up a probability that he might have lost his childhood when he ceased to be 11. Here there is a word cease. Cease means to stop. So he first so he first speculates that he might have lost his childhood when he stopped to be 11. Means he might have lost his childhood when he was no longer 11 years old. Means when he stepped into his 12th year of his life. So he thought that I might have lost my childhood when I was no longer 11 years old. When I, begin, when I began to be 12 years old. So he speculates that thing. And he also speculates that was it the time when I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography. He again speculates that he might have lost his childhood when he realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography. Right from our childhood, we have been taught that if we do good deeds, we will go to heaven. And if we do bad deeds, we will go to hell. So we are given such moral values so that we become better individuals in life. But when, when we were kids, we did not go too deep into it. But when we grew older, we began to uh, speculate, we began to think, we began to rationalize that are these hell and heaven really found in geography? Can we locate where is hell and heaven? As we grew older, we realized that hell and heaven cannot be found in geography books. We cannot locate it on the map. It is uh, very much true, it is there in our belief, it is there in our religion, but we exactly don't know where hell and heaven are because they don't exist in any geographical location. So 
the poet also uh, puts forward this theory that when he was a child, when he was a kid, he knew that hell and heaven existed. But when he grew older, he began to rationalize. He began to think in a logical way. He thought that hell and heaven, these are not uh, present. These do not exist in any geographical location. So a doubt began to creep up in his mind. He thought that and therefore could not be was that the day he thought that hell and heaven as hell and heaven could not be found in geography so therefore could not be means he began to question its existence only he thought that hell and heaven these do not exist in any geographical location these do not exist on earth we cannot find it in the map so might it might be the case that they do not exist at all so doubts began to creep up whenever we uh, uh, we think of something we begin to question that thing we begin to think logically we put up uh, various theories behind that reason so similarly he was also uh, uh, he, he also started to question those beliefs which he had in his childhood in our childhood we are taught many things but when he grow older we begin to rationalize those things we begin to think logically about that thing so similarly he also did the same thing he grew up and as he grew up he began to question those beliefs which he had in his life when he was in the initial stages of his life and he says that he might have lost his childhood when he began to think that much logically so let's have a look at it again when did my childhood go was it the day i ceased to be 11 he first puts up a question when his childhood went away from him and he also speculates that it might have gone away from him when he ceased to be 11 that is when he stopped to be 11 and he also puts the question that was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography he also puts up the question that probably his childhood had gone away when he realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography could not be located anywhere on the surface of the earth and therefore could not be and as this were not present on the earth so its existence was also questioned by him and was that the day he questions that was that the day when i began to speculate about all those things was that the day when i lost my childhood so this is all about the first stanza of the poem now let's have a look at the second stanza when did my childhood go was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seemed to be they talked of love and preached of love but did not act so lovingly was that the day so in the second stanza also he builds on the same question he keeps thinking when he had lost his childhood he says that when did my childhood go was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seemed to be he puts up a very interesting question here he says that he might have lost his childhood when he realized that adults were not all the same to be. Here he talks about the hypocrisy of the adults. It is very common that children, they tend to follow what their adults do. In front of children, adults generally say good things. They say that we must love everyone. Adults also say that we must do good things. But it is not every time that they practice what they preach. Means they don't always do the things which they talk of. For example, in front of a child, an adult, his uh, father or mother or maybe his elder brother or sister, then I say that we must talk politely to everyone, we must behave good with everyone, we must not quarrel. But right after saying that within a minute only, he or she, that adult might go and quarrel with someone, he might misbehave with someone. So it's very common that generally adults do not practice what they preach, they do not do those things which they teach others so our poet says that when he realized that adults are not what they seemed to be means adults always presented themselves in a nice way in an ideal way in front of uh, the children but he realized that when adults said those good things they did not practice those good things themselves means they said something and they did something else this is hypocrisy means they are saying something and doing something else so he said that when he realized that adults were hypocrites, adults were not doing the things that they are preaching, at that moment, at that stage of his life, he might have lost his childhood. They talked of love and preached of love. 
here he says that here there means he is talking about the adults that talked of love and preached of love the adults they always talked of love they always taught him when he was a child the adults always taught him to love others to behave in a uh, affectionate way to behave in a uh, nice way with everyone and preached of love means here preach means to teach okay to teach someone they always taught him that you must behave nicely with everyone you must behave kindly with everyone but did not act act so lovingly but those elders they did not act lovingly themselves that taught the child to act lovingly with others that taught the child to love others but they themselves they did not act very lovingly they always spread hatred in this current situation in our world we are we as adults we are actually spreading hatred nobody of us very uh, few people among us we are spreading the message of love we are only spreading hatred this is what we adults are we are being hypocrites and it's a bitter truth so he says that adults they always taught him to love others they always taught him to spread love but they themselves did not practice the activities of love was that the day and he ends this stanza with the same thought that probably that was the day when he realized that he has lost his childhood means when he began to doubt his elders when he understood that his elders were being hypocrites they were not doing the things that they were teaching him probably that day he had lost his childhood so now let's have a look at the third stanza when did my childhood go was it the day when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone was that the day so in this stanza the poet uh, again continues his question and he uh, speculates why and when he might have lost his childhood he says that when did my childhood go was it the day when i found my mind was really mine in our childhood we uh, generally don't have our own opinions we are driven and we are guided mostly by our parents or our elders but when we grow older we start forming our own opinions we are not driven by anyone else we are uh, we present ourselves as individuals we begin to resonate we begin to think logically about things we have our own opinions and sometimes our opinions also don't match with our elders for example uh, your father may have an opinion about your studies he may have an opinion about your career he might think that you are you are good for science stream but you may have the opinion that no i am good for the art stream so in this way it's just an example and in this way we start forming our opinions so he also said that he when he realized that he had his own opinions he was not guided by anyone else or he was not forced to follow the path of anyone else he had his own path probably that day he had lost his childhood was it the day when i found my mind was really mine when he realized that his mind was really his own means when we are children we don't have our own opinions our mind is actually not ours at all we dress according to the wish of our parents we uh, choose we we are not free to choose anything on our own in most cases but there might be some exceptions but he says that when he realized that his mind was really his own means he had his own opinions probably that day he had lost his childhood to use whichever way i chose and his mind was so free that he could use it in any way either good way or bad way probably that day he had lost his childhood producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone and he said that when he grew up he began to produce such thoughts which were his own thoughts and not the thoughts of, thoughts of any other people when we are very much young when we are kids generally we tend to follow others means if uh, my uh, brother says that he likes that thing i also said that yes i like this thing we try to copy others but if for for example uh, saurav ganguly he said that when he was uh, when he began to play cricket he used to follow his brother sneha shish ganguly who was also a left handed batsman so while trying to copy his brother he began to bat left handed so it's an example of how children follow their elders or imitate their elders when they are very much young 
so he also said that when he grew older he began to produce thoughts that were his own and not of other people but my own and mine alone and those thoughts were his his individual thoughts he did not follow the footsteps of anyone else so at that point of time probably he had lost his childhood was that the day he again puts that uh, puts the same thing that probably that day he had lost his childhood so in this stanza he wants to say this thing only that when he grew up when he began to have his own opinion when he was no longer following the footsteps of others when he was no longer imitating others probably at that point of time he had lost his childhood so now let's have a look at the final stanza where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant space that's all i know now this stanza begins with the question where did my childhood go in the earlier stanzas he was asking when did my childhood go means he was looking for the time he was uh, searching for the time when he had lost his childhood and he puts uh, various uh, probabilities that he might have lost his childhood at those points of time and now he is searching for his childhood that where it has gone to which place it has gone and he also answers that it went to some forgotten place he says that he no longer holds on to his childhood it has probably gone somewhere else and he doesn't know where it has gone he it has gone to some forgotten place means his childhood has gone to such a place which he has forgotten which cannot be found to explain this thing better we might take the example of our own childhood we sometimes think of those golden days when we were younger and we when we were at school probably at class 5 or 6 and we used to have so much fun right we were not not so much concerned about our careers we were not so much concerned about everything in this world we were busy in our own world and whenever we think of those days we feel a bit nostalgic we want to bring back those days but we cannot go and find out those days because those days are gone because we cannot bring back the time no so similarly the poet is also saying that his childhood has gone away to some place it has gone to a distant place and he cannot find it and he cannot bring it back and probably that childhood has gone to some forgotten place he doesn't know where it has gone because he cannot bring it back if he had known that his childhood has gone to that place he could have gone there to bring it back but he doesn't know where it has gone it has lost somewhere so this is what he tries to convey he says that his childhood has gone to some forgotten place he doesn't know he doesn't know the address of that place where his childhood has gone now he puts up a very beautiful thing that that's hidden in an infant space that's all i know now he says he tries to locate where his childhood has gone he says that his childhood has gone and it's hidden in an infant space here you will find the word infant infant means a very young child he says that his childhood has gone to a forgotten place and that childhood is probably hidden it is concealed in an infant space he means to say that whenever he sees an infant whenever he sees a very uh, little child he thinks about his own childhood you might have also experienced the same thing that whenever you look at children coming back from school having fun with their friends probably children of class 1 and 2 they're coming back from school with water bottles around their neck and playing around in the water you know, after rain it brings back the memories of our own childhood so he also says that he his childhood has gone to some forgotten place and he can get that childhood back whenever he looks at the face of an infant whenever he looks at those smiling faces of children it brings back memories of his own childhood that's what he wants to say that that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know he says that he doesn't know where his childhood has gone it has gone to some forgotten place but he only knows one thing and he, that thing is that whenever he looks at any infant whenever he looks at the face of any child young child he uh, goes back to his own childhood and it gives him sweet memories of his childhood so this is all about the last stanza in the last stanza he says and he speculates where his childhood might have gone he doesn't know where it has gone it has gone to some forgotten place but he also says that his childhood comes back to him he gets back the memories of his childhood whenever he looks at the face of any infant 
so this is all about the poem in this poem we get a beautiful idea about our childhood which is the golden period of our life so i hope you all understood this poem still if you have any doubts make sure that you leave your doubts in the comment section below and i would advise you all to go through the poem in your book because reading the poem again and again will help you uh, understand the poem better so this is all for today keep watching keep sharing and thank you